Okay, hello, and today I'm going to show you the backup UPS, the three terabyte Western Digital Red hard drives that I bought at NCIX, and the Synology Disk Station DS916 Plus 8 gigabyte. And I guess the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, well, the motherboard went in one of our PCs at the home here and you're in data recovery mode and there's also you know laptop and other PC mobile devices and I just thought it was time to really think about archiving all these things uh, with some fault protection which the NAS should provide. Um, just the cost though in Canada here uh, the reason I did purchase that NCIX was they uh, did a price match on two of the items anyways the backup uh, UPS here which is the, uh, the 850 series it's the top of the line and sort of a mid-range that they have um, it was $129 and then these hard drives here out. they were actually you know they were 139 and I got them to uh, to price match uh, new egg on that and then the most expensive item of all was the uh, the Synology DS916, I got them to do that for $811. So with tax though, and the 75 cent environmental fee, it is uh, $916.57. And then the four three terabyte Western Digital Red hard drives with the uh, $129 uh, backup uh, UPS is uh, 682.95, so 682.95 plus 916.57. That's you know, that's an expensive uh, data solution for uh, fault protection. And on top of that, we still need to uh, get some server space. Fortunately. My partner's son has a, a server rack at home, so we'll send uh, the backup over there. So I'll unbox these uh, these items here, and uh, we'll take a look and see what they gave us. Notice that the packaging isn't isn't as pretty as what the the other YouTube people seem to have the uh, manufacturer's uh, box, but that's what you get when you buy it in uh, in Mississauga so I'll come back to this shortly okay so we're back here and I got this stuff all unpacked not much to the system here really but we have this uh, unit here it comes with the uh, USB so you can install a uh, well, there it is, right here. The power shoot software that uh, allows you to monitor this particular unit here. This should uh, keep running for about 90 minutes, I guess, after. And you have to connect the battery on here. So, oops, take that off. It's, uh, stuck on there pretty good. There we go. So that's the outlets that you get with that. And two USB. Supposedly good for nine charges for a cell phone if the power goes out. And of course the batteries inside here on the bottom and here's a uh, test from the manufacturer and it's uh, initialed on the bottom that it left the factory in working condition there's where you take the uh, 
battery out. Have to hook that up. And here's the four hard drives for the uh, Synology. They actually are toolless when they mount in there. There was two screws here. There's a hole well, right there. But the threads wouldn't mesh with the uh, hard drive uh, on the on the Synology uh, the bag of screws they give you to do the uh, mounting but yeah put this one in here and see how that goes drop in like that easy enough to do not much to this thing Takes longer to unpack it than it does to put the hard drives in. And this one here. Kind of hard to do this one handed. Last one was a bit of a bear there to get that in with one hand, but um, drop them all in. And that's it. The cover goes on. And it's done ready to go so oh, she's heavy with them hard drives in but get two ethernet cables uh, power cord and the power block so I'm gonna go now set this thing up on the uh, rotor plug it into the back up there and uh, well We'll start installing the software and put a RAID configuration together, so we'll see how easy that is. Okay. Okay, so now we'll try to set this up. There's no manual in the box, just a quick setup, how to get the hard drives in and power it up. So it's hooked into the router and ready to go. So find dot synology dot com that's what we gotta type in here okay let's see what happens searching And there we have it. So, found it. Now we want to. Uh, let's see, I guess create an account. Okay, install the station manager. four hard disks in. And I guess that's going to take uh, 10 minutes. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so that didn't take 10 minutes. It was done within four minutes. And then this page pops up when it refreshes and I'm going to create the administrator account and see where that takes me. Good, so now we have the account set up. I name the server, uh, username, password, and let's go here. So. DSM update and maintenance, so we'll have that go automatic. And set up quick connect, which I guess I should do 
that or you can skip it but it's a handy service so I think I uh, I might do that okay so we got the update done and now going to the package center and I think I'll install all the recommended uh, packages so download station audio station photo station video station cloud station note station surveillance station and media server so I'll put all them in and we'll see what's next okay so I went to the control panel and clicked on storage manager and created a volume I created a single volume using Synology Hybrid RAID with two fault tolerance using BTRFS uh, files, file system and that's uh, just verifying the hard disks right now all four of them and that's as far as I've got alright well the Synology uh, disk station manager is verifying the hard drives I've created a new share folder and it's for the backup which will go off-site to uh, another server and I'm gonna set the permissions on it so other than that I can say that the package center it wouldn't um, let anything be installed I had to create the volume first so when it's done verifying the four hard drives um, I'll install the recommended packages all of them and as well out of uh, well three times uh, four is the 12 terabytes I have uh, 5.23 terabytes available for storage because of the to disk fault tolerance and the reason I did that if I expand in the future to more hard drives or larger hard drives uh, if one disk does fail and you remove it and install another one to rebuild the data the RAID uh, you're vulnerable until the rebuild is completed because you only have the one disk fault tolerance so with the two disk fault tolerance it will provide another layer of protection so I'll come back when I have all the uh, packages installed and we'll see what that looks like okay so in closing here's all the packages that I installed from the package center most are just the recommended ones but one thing I found, um, the uninterruptible power supply, it's uh, USB compatible with this NAS, the 916 Plus. And you can see here, we go to uh, File Services, and, and we go down here to hardware and power and you go to UPS and you will see here there it is the backup UPS the 850 American power conversion it's there so what happens is it allows the NAS to enter uh, a safe mode and stop all the services and unmount the data volumes to prevent data loss so that's a good thing and uh, I was glad that was compatible fortunately I wasn't thinking about that when I bought the uh, backup power supply so that's good and of course I enabled the firewall and everything else on there so that's it so all in all it was easy to uh, to do this 
and no problem. Uh, tomorrow I look forward to backing up all the uh, all the data that's on there and well if you have any questions um, you can ask and I'll leave you with that so take care and have a good day.